We're going to have a quick look at uh, Lingos, which we can launch from the My Study Bar. And Lingos is a dictionary, but also has a lot of uh, other very interesting and useful features. So we'll just launch Lingos from this is the interface. It's a very attractive interface and uh, easy to use. Uh, just as it's just now, I'm just looking at the voice. You can uh, it will pick up any voices, synthetic voices that you have on your computer. You can print the results, uh, copy and paste the results as well, and there's also a text translation which we'll look at shortly. The first thing to do is really configure or set up Lingos to suit your own needs. So here I'm going to change the font style and the font size. I'm going to find Comic Sans. Just scroll through the list. So we'll pick up all the fonts that you have on your computer as well and bump that up to number 11 and the same for the results. This is going to customize all the results that I have in Lingo. So when I do a search, a word search, and it gives me the definition, it will be quite large. Okay, so say OK to that. But just before I do that, there's also other f features that are worth exploring. For example, how you can capture text and, and translate text on the screen, which we'll look at shortly as well. Uh, and you can use different mouse clicks or mouse buttons to set up. Here's the, the mouse settings, as the voice settings, sorry, as well. So lots there to, to look at. It's very good. So once I've changed those settings, it comes back and it comes back with uh, the newly sized fonts. Okay, so I'm going to do a search and one of the good things about Lingo is it's a dynamic search. So as I'm typing, you can see it's looking for a whole words within the sort of typing range that I'm doing. I'm going for research here. It's brought up those the word research and some a noun and the verb, how it can be used in different contexts. And I'm going to highlight the word and then just press the speech button so I can play have research. it played back. There it is, it's picked up Heather voice. Let's do the, the next part. Systematic investigation to establish facts. Okay, so that gives you a full uh, comprehensive understanding of what that word is with uh, audio support as well. Also has a very useful, if you're connected to the internet, it has a, a translation uh, section. So I'm just typing in, uh, you see, research and I've got researcher there. But another really, I think, f good feature of uh, Lingos is that as I maybe highlight words, just missed that one, I'll highlight again. As you highlight words, it has this mouse over feature. So it brings up uh, the, the actual words within any text that you're using. So it could be internet on the internet, it could be uh, in Word, uh, various applications that you're using. S -A -N -T -A -K. And again, it will play that back for you as, as you highlight it. And then let's just play the rest of the text. So we'll play really everything that's highlighted. The practice of science to conforming with the principles or methods used in science. Okay, let's uh, find another one, another example of that. Harnessing or harness, and you can see it's really extensive. And towards the bottom, it actually gives the words within the context of a sentence. So we've got down at the bottom there, maybe harnessing the wind to generate electricity. And just highlight that. Harnessing the wind to generate electricity back. dates back to 1890. So Lingo's a very comprehensive tool. Uh, I'm sure it will benefit many learners and uh, I hope you find some use for it as well. Just, to, just one final thing, on the right hand side there's the settings button where you can customise, add some more customisations to the, to the toolbar uh, such as more dictionaries.